Imuko liba liba Uko seza arari una mutu Ane akumuto oda Uko seza arari una mutu Ane omuturu chero Nimele ya bo ainga zuri yoralo Murena udo ishandukiza John chapter 3 verse 16 Muzimofu na shango zinga panga hapa Awia neke zamra ombebo ete Uribote ba mutendao Basirobe Chabo ube uchira chote Hallelujah God bless you. Let's appreciate our, our worship team as they sit down. I want to ask Florence, we'll do it later. I'll fit it in later. Turn with me quickly to the book of Esther. Chapter 4, we are reading. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to acknowledge my elder brother, Pastor, and uh, Borambani, the second manager. He's here. He's my true elder brother. We'll ask him to stand up. Praise the Lord. We acknowledge his presence. And many others whose names I may not be able to mention for now. But we love you all with the love of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I want to encourage our home fellowship, which is Pulukane Works, Pulukane Wednesday uh, evening services. Home Wednesday church evening services. We are celebrating one year tonight. And those people are highly expecting members from headquarters to come. They are preparing for you. Please sacrifice. It may not be easy, but it's a sacrifice. Use your own transport to Pulukwane. We are living at uh, 4 o'clock. Or join our quantum 13 seater. It's only 110. Find your space. Talk to Madam PA. Please don't miss this small church that is starting in Pulukwane. The young people are so, so zealous for this church. Who knows where we are preparing for the lending of your daughter? One day. Maybe we are preparing for you. You may be transferred and you'll find a home there. Let's support them. Learn to believe in things when they begin small. Because you were once a liquid before you were what you are. Let's go and support them. Praise the Lord. Amen. And Men with Destiny is going for an outreach tomorrow. Men with Destiny, we are going to Kuvi. 
require kubi. Join us. We are expecting an attendance of more than 200 men together. Rekore kaba the rituwe rote. Rekore be la vanna botanga na fe tuti iba chipira 200. So we'll be leaving here at half past four. Ridota kuwa fano machero nga half past four. Half past four and five. Bukati half past four. Roba na mafungo otowele yao. And I want to invite you to listen to what God has for us this afternoon. I've entitled the message Positioned in the Kingdom for a Divine Purpose. Or else I would say Positioned in the Kingdom for Divine Assignment. I'm looking at the life of this woman, Esther. The reasons why she was positioned in the palace. And I'm trying to take it from the Esther's era into our era. Why are we positioned where we are? Couldn't we be somewhere else except where we are? And I believe that that's the case. From God's point of view. What is divine purpose for me to be where I am? I want to tell you, you are not matter that occupies space. You are there for a purpose. You were never born by accident. And you are not where you are by accident. You may not know everything, but God has a purpose behind you. And those who are trying to undermine you, it is at, at, the, it is at their own peril because you are going somewhere. You you don't belong where you are. You are passing through where you are. Your destiny is not where you are. God is taking you somewhere. The devil is a liar in Jesus' name. God is taking you somewhere. Ten years ago, you were not where you are. And God sold you through. You may have scars. But you are not ashamed of the scars. Because it represents the battles that God fought for you. I'm here in the name of Jesus to say to you you are on your way to your destiny. You are going somewhere in this life. You won't end as nothing. In Jesus name. God has prepared to those who love him. He prepared what no ear has heard. What no eye has seen. What no mind has conceived. He has prepared for you. Talk to your neighbor's neighbor. If we don't see each other anymore, don't report the case to the police. God has taken me somewhere. God has lifted me to another level. Because I don't belong where I am. God has a plan for my life. God has a plan for your life. You are going somewhere. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. Where you are. It's Kentucky Fried Chicken you are driving through. I'm telling you you are driving through where you are. God has a beautiful plan for your life. The devil is a liar. 
Jeremiah. Satan and That sickness won't kill you in Jesus' name. Because you are going somewhere. In the name of Jesus. You are positioned for a purpose. You are positioned for divine purpose. You need to conceive it. You need to believe it. It will happen to you in Jesus' name. Never poison your future with the poison of the past. You are going somewhere. Say neighbor. I don't want to be unfair. I don't want to be unfair to you. That I will leave you without bidding you farewell. Say neighbor. Neighbor. Farewell to you. Farewell to you. God is taking me somewhere. Amen. Amen. It looks like a dream, but dreams come to pass. When Joseph dreamed at 17 years, nobody ever thought what would happen when he was 30 years. When he was 30 years, he was a prime minister. Who knows? You are the next premier. Hmm? My son name is Masakona. That tells it all that there's a country called Masakona somewhere. So who knows I'm the next chief. You just have to you just have to open up your mind. So I'm advising all of you to start paying homage before I'm on the throne. I will be when we go out here, I'm asking the homage for money. You give me money. God is taking you somewhere. The original name for Esther was Hadassah. Which meant evergreen shrub with pink and white flowers. Pink, pink, and, and white flowers. That is Hadassah. And this name was changed to Esther. Esther means star. Esther Jiamba Nadezi. So don't just name yourself Esther. Before, Bonne... Wait, you're too fast. Don't just name yourself Esther before you go to the mirror and check whether the name is seated on the right person. Bonne basongo soko dirina zina la Esther. Basongo toma ba yachiboni ni ba disa zaur ili zina li abafanela na. Esther means star. Esther Jiamba Nadezi. Let me see anybody whose name is Esther and see whether the name is sitting on the right person. Any Esther here? Stand up, my Esthers. Esther, stand up. Mm. Yeah. Oh, we've got two Esthers this side. Yeah. In their days when they were youth, the name seated on the right person. Praise the Lord. Amen. Who, 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 who thinks you deserve the name Esther? Lift up your hand. If you think you deserve the name Esther. Esther. Ah, you don't have confidence on yourself. There is one Esther. Another one Esther. Stand up, my Esthers. There's another Esther. Esther, Esther. Esther, Esther. Esther, Esther. Ah. And the PA is Esther. Now, PA in the Esther. The, uh, uh, you are refusing. I see some men are lifting up their hands. It's not, this name is not for men. Huh? 
Esther means star. Esther was an orphan. Esther was an both parents died. She was adopted by her uncle Mordecai. Who raised her up as a family member. Esther's nationality was a secret. If you bring this verse on the screen, please. Esther chapter 2 verse 10. Esther her, two, verse her, her nationality that she was a Jew was kept as a secret. Amen. Look, look at this verse. Sorry for those side we will we'll, we'll repair the machine. Sorry for that. But let's, let's read that verse. It says, let's read one, two. Esther had not told anyone of her nationality and family background because Mordecai had not to do so. So the nationality of Esther was a hidden secret. Are we together so far? Her parents has died. She's raised up by the uncle and the nationality was not disclosed. Bring verse 20. Verse 20. And look at verse 20. Verse 20. Same scripture, chapter 2, verse 20. 2, verse 20. Let's read it. Esther. Esther continued to keep her family background and nationality a secret. She was still following Mordecai's directions. Just as she did when she lived in his home. Come on, say what we have said. Summarize. Esther Aisapanda no Zumba for Harushaka Rua Hawe, na Mutawa Hawe. At Evela Ndira Yamara Jokai, Amo Arusangai. Yeah, Musi Atko Zula Mdin Yamara Jokai. It is possible that people hide their nationalities. Zia Konadze or Riba Tuba Zumbe, Rushaka Rua Havo. Where they come from. Uriba Vabenga. Ask your neighbor, which nationality are you? Ama would say, Oh, your Baba Karushaka Rufio Bone. For interest sake. Rich got a tamoto diva. Which nationality are you? Boneba Vakarushaka Rufio. Don't hide your nationality. Basonga Zumba Rushaka Rohavo. Esther's nationality. Rushaka Ro Esther. Was hidden. Roba Rod Zumbiwa. And this woman of God was positioned in the kingdom with a hidden nationality. Positioned in the kingdom for a divine purpose. But the nationality was hidden. I want to share with you three things and we pray. Positioned in the kingdom. I like how this topic is phrased. It says positioned in the kingdom. It shows that somebody positioned you. You didn't position yourself. And you were positioned for a divine purpose. Three things I share with you. Number one. Forget not how you came into the kingdom. Don't forget. You see when life begins to flourish and you begin to prosper. Usually you forget how you came into the place where you are. Don't forget. I'm not speaking about the kingdom of Swaziland. I'm speaking about the kingdom of God. And I'm alerting all of you. Forget not how you came into the kingdom. According to Esther chapter 2 verse 8. Esther 2 verse 8. Esther was introduced by Mordecai into the palace. Esther It was Mordecai. Let's read it quickly. Let's read it. One, two. 
As the result of the king's decree, Esther, along with many other young women, was brought to the king's harem at the fortress of Susa and placed in Haggai's care. Listen, was brought. She did not come by herself. She was positioned. She was brought. And I want you to know God has used somebody for you to be where you are today. Forget not how you came in here. Esther's uncle brought Esther into the harem. She never came by herself. I want to advise Esther. When things are working well in the palace, don't forget your uncle. That's why I wrote a book, a powerful book. People forget people and why. This is my latest book. People forget people. Esther. Esther. Mordecai, your uncle. The biological brother of your mother. Brought you here. He may not be a queen because he's a man. But he facilitated your position to be where you are. Some of you to come to this church. Somebody was used to come for you. Some of you, your husband joined this church and before a year, he left the church and dropped you here. That's how you came. That's how you came here. And you came here for a purpose. You didn't come here to be a number. You came here to be a member. Forget not how you came. Some of you to be in the church. You had to be married by a man who belonged to this church. Like my interpreter. How on earth will you be here? How would you be interpreting for me? If my son didn't marry you. Don't forget. Amen. Forget not how you came in the kingdom. Some of you, I had to bury your relative. And you heard me preaching at a funeral. And you said, wow, what kind of a preacher? Where is his church? Somebody had to die for you to be a member here. Forget not how you came. Esther. Esther was brought by Mordecai. Hey. Old lady, you know how you came here. Your husband, listen, come here. Your husband was a member of this church. Very, very act active. He was paying tithing. Just to bring you. And today, where is your husband? Somewhere. And you are here. Don't forget how you came. When you read John chapter 1 verse 45. But you are one verse 45. My goodness, bring it, bring it Kaide, kaide. Na zinondi chendi fare umpa This is a vendor song. Let's sing it together say Na zinondi Hallelujah. Umpa. Tini how ye so. Tini how ye. So nendi. Nendi di perwe. Nendi 
Hanepo, Ndiye Ne Busiku Butu Wo Se Kobo Ne Bonga Ita Soga Soga Na Panga Ndizi Bring that verse John chapter 1 verse 45 Let's read it Philip found Nathaniel And said to him We have found him of whom Moses in the law And also the prophet Wrote Jesus of Nazareth The son of Joseph Come on interpret Filipo awana Nathaniele arikae. Rowana hoyo anemushe kamilayo. Nakaba porofita onwana ari. Yeso wa Nazareta murawa Yosef. Now Nathaniel, Nathaniel was introduced to Jesus by Philip. Nga Philip. Huh? He was introduced by Philip. Philip was a facilitator. Philip, you know when Nathaniel would have seen Jesus. Have you forgotten who introduced you here? Amen. Amen. You and me would not have met. Somebody facilitated. Hmm? You know the old, the old lady, the general, was Shabela, invited me to preach there. That's how I met you. How would you have seen me, my dear? Somebody facilitated. The house of Mamsanda, the palace, had to be bent for you to meet me. You cost too much, my dear. The house has to be bent for you to be here. If I were you, I would allow the church to take my salary for five months. The house has to be bent for me to be here. My goodness. Amen. Pamzai. Pamzai. Hey, listen to this. Zimbabwe had to have a problems and Robert Mugabe had to be captured and Swangirai and all these things. For you to come to South Africa. Zimbabwe had Robert Mugabe And who knows you'll get married here? Who Forget not how you came. Shake your neighbor say, neighbor, do you still remember? Huh? Do you still remember? Huh? This young man had to, to, had to deliver letters of ICC. To meet a, a, a girl, poor, poor girl on barefoot. Don't forget how you came here. The University of Venda had to employ you, my dear, just for you to be here. University of Venda to you to be here. Yeah, and he came here without a car. No, no car. Nothing. Except a wife. You had nothing except a wife. Forget not how you came in here. Am I talking to somebody here? Am I talking to somebody here? It's very serious. Esther had to remember how she came into the kingdom. Paul was introduced by Barnabas to the apostles. Acts chapter 9, 26 to 27. He could not penetrate the believers in Jerusalem. Jerusalem. Until Barnabas took him to his house. And the following day introduced him to the apostles. 
apostles. But now Paul is a giant. He's the author of the two-thirds of the New Testament. But can I talk to Paul in absentia? I remember how you came in here. Never despise Barnabas. Number two. Very important. Positioned in the kingdom for a divine purpose. You are purposed to save a soul, not to save yourself. When God planted you in the kingdom, the purpose was for you to save a soul. God is in a mission of redemption, of redeeming a soul. Whatever is happening, the central message is to redeem a soul. Heaven is, as an, heaven is unnecessary if there's no redemption of a soul. What is the preaching for? Are we displaying intellect? intellect? I will display experience. What is church for? If you are not saving souls, why was he crucified? If it was not for redemption of a soul, Esther, Esther, it is beyond a marriage. It goes beyond a wedding ring. Esther, Esther. It goes beyond kissing your husband. You are there to save a soul. You are there to redeem a soul. It is not beauty that brought you there. It is the mission of God. It is the mission of redemption. Somebody is about to die. Somebody is about to lose life. Esther, wake up. Esther, wake up. You were positioned for divine purpose. Save a soul. Am I talking to somebody? The Bible says in 1 John chapter 3 16. It says, Love we have seen. When some when when you lay down your life, when a brother lays down his life for the sake of somebody else. Love we have seen. Love we have seen. When a life was laid down for the sake of another soul, somebody must lay down a life. Somebody must deny a life just to save a soul. You are five years in this church. You are ten years in this church. No soul, no soul. You are followed by nobody. You are not even counseling anybody. Loaded with gifts that are dysfunctional. What was the reason for you in the kingdom? Listen, this is not a showroom where we show our suits and costumes and figures. This is not the place. You must win a soul. But you win a movie. You must feel unfulfilled. If you have not redeemed any soul. Number three. Listen, this is not a business connection center. Number three. You need to win your soul here. But you win a muya fan. Am I talking to somebody here? Mm. 
I'm so taken up by this message. It's like God is investigating me. He's talking to me. Are you at the right place? think of spending my last days in a tent. Winning souls. Preaching salvation to somebody. I remember when I preached a message. Just at the introduction. People will be screaming. Getting saved before an altar call. I remember those days. Saved to save. To save. The soul. What are we here for? Somebody say amen. Amen. Let's read verse 13. Yeah, verse 13. Of Esther. Yeah, Esther. Chapter 4. We're about to finish now. But I'm really soaked up with this message. Mm. Just win a soul. Bring that book, Esther. You can be going to Vendor Bible. Chapter 4, verse 13. Read. Iri. Ene afindurangala uri. Vuzani mm. Esther niri. Usongo ere kanya wari wamutani wamsanda. Udo hanya uote kabo teba yuda. Mm. Gauri na uwaso kuzura okay, misi. Okay. 13, 13, 13, please. Don't, don't pass. Let's read 13, all of us. And Mordecai told them to answer Esther. Do not think in your heart that you will escape in the king's palace any more than all the other Jews. I like it in the NLT. Kabibiria NLT. Are you there or somewhere else? Yeah. Mordecai sent this reply to Esther. Uh -huh. Don't think for a moment. Wait. Don't think for a moment. Yeah. You know what was happening here? But the Mordecai had dressed up in dirty clothes and he was in the in the in the he was sitting in front of the gate of the palace. Maradokai oba ombarazyambarazwa mashika odzula panda koro ya famu. And according to the law, he was nobody with dirty clothes was allowed to be in the front of the palace. Uyanga hamulayo hoba husina mutu ane ar ombarazyambarazwa mashika ate wana e panda koro ya famu. You know what happened? Ba diboru hoiti ane. Praise the Lord. You know what happened? But Esther sent an outfit, a brand new outfit to Modica. Esther Arumela Ziambarosi Sazisa Kamaradokai. So that he may not sit in front of the gate with dirty clothes. Uri Asongo Zula Panda Corona Ziambaroso Chikafala. Modekai refused. Maradokai Ahana. It's like he said. Zitonga Ukori. I am not here in a showroom. Atio hapa ubatano. I'm not here for a brand new outfit. I am mourning for lives. A decree has been issued that all the Jews shall be slaughtered. How can I dress smart? He refused. Uh -huh, nah. We are not here for smart suits. Yeah? We are not, not here for smart suits. costumes. Yeah? Are you we are not here for high heel shoes. Are you we are not here Arioha for Arioha Brazilian hairstyle. Shut up. Arioha. We are here to win souls. We are here to win souls. He refused. Uh -huh, nah. If it were you and me would have taken the outfit and forget about the souls. For some of us, we spend much of time trying to choose the nice outfit to show off at church. If we don't put you on the program, you are angry because you brought an outfit. 
Richia chipfinga chilapu. Riko ringe zoto da chiambaro chinera doro chiambara kereke ni rachivala. Bachi da kereke ni rasaba bea ka programu. Bo sinyu wa bo kwata. Listen, we will dress you smart in your coffin. Come and take your clothes. The bamba tashavu divenga ngomu pokisin. And we will pawns you. The bamba pawns alaba nakis. Are you hearing talking about? Back home, first we need a kwamba. Mordecai refused. Maradokai ahan. Because he was mourning. Gaur oba achikori. For lives of people. Achikori de la machiro abatu. What is painful? She not fit to do. My goodness and mercy. Amen. Read verse eleven. Verse eleven. This is painful. Jesus here ba ba Jesus. This is painful. Jesus here ba ba Jesus. Look at verse eleven. Verse eleven. Okay. We are here. Let's read together. Carver wrote the verse. Listen, I've been a teacher for seven years, so one of the method of teaching the students is to repeat after the teacher. So when I say let's read, read. Richard Carver, Carver wrote. It's a method. The more method. Let's read one, two. All the king's officials and even the people in the provinces know that anyone who appears before the king in his inner court without being invited is doomed to die unless the king holds out his gold scepter and the read venda whatever dinda ba musanda na ba thubothe ba mashango akosi ba azudiva zwa uri nyina nnyi kana ndi munna kana ndi musadzi ane a general utambieni hune khosi ya ba hone a songo tou bidzwa cha wendi ubulawa mulayo uralo arali thobela a tou musumba nga lubadza lwawo lwa musuku ndi hone a chidolichwa a chira aba nendo no fedza maduba ana mahumi mararu ndi songo bidzwa nda ya khosi motokai said to her, her nephew, is it a nephew or a niece? One of the two. When she's a lady, is it a nephew or niece? Yeah. Mordecai said to the niece, Maratokai are come to Luawe. Go to the king. Chimbira, we are cause. Plead for our mercy. Uya are already Esther. Esther. Now she's seated next to the king. Jashina Atsula Tsin in a cause. Esther said to Mordecai. Esther Arkamaratokai. Everybody in the province know. Mwana Mwafaka province was a diva. That no one goes to the king. Uri Ahuna Onaya Hakosi. Unless he's cold. Agandani Amusi Otovija. And if anyone goes and cold. Arari Mutu Aya Asongovija. Is doomed for death. Haya Afana Rangalufu. For my own sake. Nichi Terabon Nemun. I have not been cold. Natongovija. My life comes first. Muchira Hanga Buddha Pana. Is it you, Esther? Diwe Esther Na. Your life comes first. Muchira how would that panda? And the lives of the Jews come second. Muchira ba yuta ba na ba bubiri. My goodness. Amen. Esther. Esther. It's now safety first approach. Zazina ukwari tira na zo utoma. She doesn't lay down her life. Hako adza muchiro. For the sake of others. Achi tera ba ngwe. Esther now is self-protective. Esther is a zina uko di tirereza ene mune. She said I won't go. Ari atinga yu. Because the king didn't call me. Nga uri kosi ayongo mbiz. Esther, I'm angry with you. Esther, no sin you chair. How many times will you be called? You're already in the king's court. Oh my God. What other call do you want? Because you're already in the vicinity. Na udobi chwarunga na ngangomu apo famoni. Nga uri wano diba ngangomu famoni. Uko to dobi chwashifiyo. Nga uri uhene po une waba one famoni. You are refusing to speak to your husband. Uko hana uamba na muna wawo. For the sake of the Jews. Uchi kwa ite na ba yuda. Have you forgotten? Na wahangwa na. That your nationality is still hidden. Uri rushaka rauru chano tumbi iwa. A king doesn't know. Kasi aishu di. Who you are. Uri iwa ndi iwa nyi. You're forgotten. You're forgotten. Wah angwa, wah angwa. And Esther, let me tell you. Esther, I mind you. I will disclose your nationality. Nandito zumbulura, lushaka wah. 
if you cannot use this opportunity. Esther. Esther. Risk your life. Risk to save the nation. Life has got no meaning if you have never saved any person yet. I don't care how many millions you have. You can have a stack of millions from here to Pulukwane. All of them stacked behind you to Pulukwane. That's nothing. If you're not saving anybody and you're not touching anybody's life, that's nothing. Yeah, yeah, you can't even save your own, your sister's son. Your sister's son is waiting for Parapara to deliver shoes and you are working. Shame on you. You can't touch anybody's life. We worship you. We worship you. You are worthy to be Touch people's life. Touch your neighbor, neighbor. He's talking to you. Point your finger. He's talking to you, man. This is not an indirect call. This is a direct call. How many people are you saving? They're already here in the church. They are no distance, no petrol. They are here, but you can't touch anybody's life. They are here, but you can't cancel anybody. They are already here. well, how, how can the day become wonderful when no soul is saved? Whom are you dancing with? Among yourselves. Where are the new converts? Where are the people helped in counseling? Where Remember, I'm not just a pastor, I'm an evangelist. My heart is for souls. I want to see people getting saved. Esther, huh? you said you can go. Esther, you Now your life is more precious than the lives of all these people. You want to hear the screams of babies that are being slaughtered when you are seated in the palace. Esther, Esther. We are here for business of souls. People must be saved. Let me close. Verse 14. Verse 14. Mm. Otangiwa, Gamasina, Gamasina, Let's close with verse seven, verse fourteen. Recall verse fourteen. Yeah. Gauri na ho wa soko zula misi inu. Ndamule roya dera ba yuda ichi ba hume. Ndi hone huchibo doroba iwe naba hanu. Huno hudiva nyi. 
Mm. Bring it on the screen. Mm. Let's read. If you, if you keep quiet at a time like this, deliverance and relief for the Jews will arise from some other place. But you and your relatives will die. Who knows if you perhaps you were made a queen for just such a time as this. Bring it in the New King James Version. Okay, then I the New King James Version. Let's read it once more. For if you remain completely silent, full stop, stop there. That's Mordecai speaking now. I close. Refuse to, expect, to be a spectator. Refuse. When life is perishing in front of your eyes. Refuse to be a spectator. Mordecai. Mordecai. My niece. If you remain completely silent in the palace. In a time when you should have spoken. In a time you should have spoken to your husband. For the sake of the lives of the Jews. And you are silent.